Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us continue with the next elements of a poset guys. Okay. So the next major elements are joint and meet guys. So it is also called as the least upper bound LUB or joint or supremum or V. Okay. Similarly, the next is a greatest lower bound that is a GLB meet infimum or and operation. Okay, yes. So what exactly this mean is, so joint is nothing but least value in the upper bound. So in the upper bound, we have discussed in the last lecture, guys. So among this upper bound, if it is having a least value, that is a nothing but a joint. Greatest value of lower bound is nothing but meet. That's it. So these are the two definitions. So now we will be going through an example and we will be describing how you can say a particular graph is lettuce or not guys guys most of the time i will be using some silly tricks to solve this question guys okay i am being clear here okay yes you can solve it step by step but that thing will uh, ultimately kill your time because you will be wasting time on some unwanted things okay so that is the reason why i will be showing you some tricks to identify some kind of patterns and based on those patterns you can you can uh, remove some options guys okay yes so let us uh, start so this is the exact two diagrams which you have discussed in the last lecture, right? Yes. So we calculate upper bound and lower bound. So basically what is upper bound guys? So upper bound is a nothing but above you where you can go. You, you, your friend is E, C and G. So if you four guys want to meet at one point where you can meet at the top guys. So these all guys can only meet at I. So I is your upper bound. So here we are no, having no choice, right? So only one upper bound is there. So our joint is I. That's it. When it comes to lower bound, if these four guys wants to meet somewhere, where they can meet, they can all meet at E's house or they can meet at A, right? Yes. And, but we want, okay, so at A and E they can meet. But whenever we are solving meet, we want the greatest value, right? So who is far guys from this point A and E? So E is far, right? Yes. Or A is the greatest one, right? So among A and E, which is greatest? E is greatest. So E is the result in that way. Okay. Similarly, when it comes to D and F, these two guys. So these two guys can meet where, where guys? They can meet at F, they can meet at H, they can meet at G, they can meet at I. So these four points will be our upper bounds. So among these four, which is the least guy guys? So among these four, he is the most least one, right? Yes. So F is the result. That's it. Okay. Similarly, lower bound. So when it comes to lower bound, these two guys can meet at D or A. So among D and A, which is the greatest one? D is the greatest one. So D is the result. That's it. Got it? Yes. So now moving on to the next diagram. So here D and E. For D and E, is there any upper bound guys? No. Hence so a joint will also does not exist. Similarly, LB is nothing but lower bound for D and E. Is nothing but A, B, C. Okay. So among them, which is the greatest? C is the greatest. That's it. When it comes to the second part, that is a C. So for C, what is the great uh, what are the upper bounds guys so it has it is a solo it can meet itself at c at d at e so three points and at lower bound we are having the bottom three a b c so among these three which is the least value c among these three which is the greatest value c so indirectly c will be the joint and meet for it okay yes so now let us understand the words joint semi lattice so till now every time i was giving you the explanation then i am coming to the definitions right but this time i am going to do it in a reverse way guys so joint semi lattice is nothing but a hash diagram partial order relation is called joint semi lattice if for every element there is a joint so any pair or any combination i should take if every pair is having joint it is called as a joint semi lattice okay and similarly, the same concept for meat also. So any combination I take, if there is a meat, it is a meat semi lattice. Okay. So a particular hash diagram, which is having both meat semi lattice and joint semi lattice is a lattice guys. It's a quite interesting, right? Yes. So existing both a joint and meat for every pair of element is a lattice. Got it? Yes. So now in the examination, he will give you a diagram guys. So the question could be, he could ask whether it is a lattice, whether it is a joint semi lattice, whether it is a meat semi lattice, not lattice. So among these four, he could give as a multi-select question. So among them, two could be answers, three could be answers. So that is the reason why you should concentrate while solving these problems guys. So I am showing you some tricks. So please concentrate guys. Okay. So the first thing I want to clear is a meat will be represented with this arrow guys and a joint will be represented with a down arrow 
that is i am going to say some tricks so that is the reason why i am showing you these diagrams okay yes so what is in meat guys so meat is having this up arrows right so that is the reason why this symbol is and type and joint is opposite of it so it is a v okay so whenever it is up arrow you are going to check a down guys whenever it is a down arrow you are going to check up please remember these things guys okay the reason why i am saying is the method which i'll be following is it will be following these tricks okay yes okay so meet means a down joint means up so you can remember in that way or you can go in my path so basically i'll follow this path so meet means m is there so it will be in this way so as it is pointing up the arrow should go down got it yes okay so a b so here we are checking downwards right yes so uh, go as below as possible and below we are having two points guys so these two points can go anywhere below guys no right yes so they can go above but they cannot go below so hence it is a not meet semi lattice guys similarly if you check joint so if you check up so above these two guys there is no more path hence it is not a joint semi lattice as it is a not meet or not joint it is a nothing guys it is not lattice not meet semi lattice it is not joint semi lattice got it yes okay so now moving on if you observe this diagram okay so let us uh, try this guys okay so for easy understanding let me write down those uh, terminology guys so up is a nothing but a meet right yes okay so let me write it here so that we can clearly check it up means a meet down means a joint okay okay so observe the diagram carefully okay so what do you think might not exist guys so whatever we search always is a search for open ends guys so if you observe here it is a closed end right so there is only one point so let it be for now but above if you see there is a open end so e and f so for e and f is there anything above no so that is the reason why uh, will it exist joint guys no joint will not exist guys okay and if you want to check about meet so any two points you take guys always a meet has a possibility of a right because it is an end closed end so indirectly you can say that the meet will exist that's it hence you can conclude that it is a meet semi lattice got it yes so observe for this so here if you observe carefully both the ends are closed and any two points you take so they are going to meet at some point so it's that much symmetrical so at the end you can say that this is our first lattice guys okay similarly moving on here okay so it's having both open ends so from here we cannot go bottom anywhere from here you cannot go up anywhere so those both are also gone got it yes it's a thing similarly here okay okay so this diagram might confuse some students but please concentrate guys so if you are checking at these two points you are having one path to go to d and one path to go to e but you cannot guaranteely say that where it will go right yes so you cannot generate a single element right so lower bound sorry joint or meet you cannot generate for these two elements these two or these two so that is the reason why it is nothing guys similarly here above is open so it is nothing but meet semi lattice because it is having bottom only one okay yes so that bottom concept will not work here guys because we are, when we check for these two these two are having a possibility of here and here but these two are indirectly at the same level right so that's the reason with that also you can say okay yes similarly here here there are open ends right yes so if you check for h and i above them there is nothing okay yes so indirectly it will be meet semi lattice okay because below a is there got it yes so in this way you can identify it guys but uh, few students will be following the traditional method so what is a traditional method in traditional method you will take two random numbers so c and d so if you take these two you will find a meet of them you will find joint of them so in that way you can check step by step but it will make your time waste your time so that is the reason why always try for open ends and corner items guys like ef a b and whenever there are some kind of clumsy diagrams like x and all those things so check for them only okay yes so now you got some idea right anyway there are few pyqps guys uh, on these uh, topics like while solving them you will get more clarity on them okay yes and if you are having any kind of confusion like you want some easy tricks so you can check on youtube guys because there are various videos uh, but the thing is they are they, you cannot say guaranteely the answer guys but 99% of the time you can guess the answer okay yes okay so now i hope everyone got a clear idea right yes okay okay so in the next lecture we will be discussing few more terminologies uh, about this lattice only guys like how you can find the complement of a particular lattice and with respect to this complement we are having distributive uh, complement lattice and boolean algebra so these are the three terminologies which we will be discussing in the next lecture and 
by this we are done with the algebra like uh, let us part guys so after that we will be moving on to the propositions and first orders okay like a group theory and functions we will be discussing later on okay yes okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea on this so in the next lecture let us discuss about complementing of a lattice okay thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you